My name is Guðfinnur. I became 29 years old a few weeks ago. Uh, I was born totally blind. I was born without eyes and all the other things required for sight, so I'm using artificial eyes. I'm currently trying to finish my local music school. I play piano and violin. I also swim competitively, always trying to improve my personal records. I don't do that much navigating outside, but of course I walk inside the pool and the school all the time, making my way around. Autonomy in orientation and mobility can be a great challenge for blind and visually impaired people. They do use different kinds of aids to travel safely in their environment, such as the long cane, monocular, binoculars, guide dogs and GPS. An alternative to these aids is being developed by the Sound of Vision project. As a participant in this project, I have been involved in training and testing with test takers who are visually impaired and blind. As soon as I started working with Sound of Vision prototypes, I realized the great potential of this new solution. The Sound of Vision projects are all about creating a wearable system for the visually impaired persons to help them better understand the surrounding environment with the end goal of improving the mobility. We have developed a wearable system which uses 3D cameras to sense the environment. The system then processes the data and conveys the information to the user via audio or vibrations. The goal is not to replace conventional assistive devices such as the white cane, but to provide additional help. We received three years funding from the European Commission to develop the system, and for the last three years, we have designed and built several prototypes and carried out extensive usability testing with visually impaired persons. The project consortium consists of nine partners. We have three partners located in Romania. We have one partner in Italy, one partner in Hungary, two partners in Poland, and two partners in Iceland. We have designed an aesthetic system which is comfortable to wear and provides the user with a clear, naturalistic visual to audio and tactile metaphors. The system is composed of a headgear, a belt and a processing unit. The Sound of Vision system has much better range at the cane, which makes it easier to find and navigate past obstacles. The cane only detects objects closer to the ground, while the system can detect objects at head height, such as branches and other overhanging things. It can give a broad picture of the environment without the need to walk around as much. It makes it easier to find open spaces to walk in, which makes me personally much more comfortable when I'm walking around. On the headgear, we have two types of cameras, one for indoor and another one for outdoor. We decided to use two types of cameras because none of the cameras we evaluated were good enough for both environments. We designed several encoding languages and we have carried out extensive research and testing into conveying the information to the user as accurately as possible. In fact, the user can select between several alternative encodings of the environment. For the audio, we have systematically tested and compared different sounds and headphones. The system can be used with good quality headphones as well as hearing aids. We have spent considerable effort on improving the spatial feeling of the system's sounds. In fact, our audio communication relies strongly on the user's spatial feeling. For the tactile communications, we have developed a tactile belt, which is worn around the waist of the user. The belt has vibrating motors located on the front. Each motor can be controlled individually. The belt has stretchable material in the back area, which ensures fit and comfortability. Throughout the project, we carried out comprehensive usability tests with end users, which provided valuable information for the development of the system. The Sound of Vision system has several important features. The system can detect signs, stairs, it can provide collision warnings, it can read text, and provide information about free paths. Furthermore, the Sound of Vision system comes with a set of training procedures. We developed a course material for self-training, which uses virtual environments that we created specifically for this purpose. And finally, the Sound of Vision system 
is highly customizable. We expect that as the user gets more proficient in using the sound division system, it is likely that the user's preferences will change.